Hold up. Hello, my beautiful family. Hello, my beautiful family. Happy Sunday. I hope all is great with you. And today we're talking about the exact thing that I just failed at, which is talking. Sometimes it can be so hard to talk to people. You know those days we all have them um, when you just can't seem to form words? Like you're trying to talk, like the words in your brain, but then it just doesn't come out public speaking, um, just speaking to people in general, and just um, little things like that and what you can do to, um, I don't know, better yourself or feel more confident in doing so. Sometimes it's so hard to be social. I mean, that's why I'm a dog person. Like, I go to a party or a social gathering and I look for the dog. I mean, like, can I just pet your dog? I'm here just to pet your dog, okay? <laughs> No, but I'm getting better. I'm trying. Um, it's fun to talk to people. It's just hard sometimes. Before I get into any of that, the notification shout outs go to Eddie Santion and Squishy Fairy. Thank you guys so much for your comments and all your support. All of you guys, your support just means the world to me and I'm so glad that you guys like my videos. And if anyone else needs a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to join this crazy family. It's growing, it's crazy. And hit that bell so you know exactly when I post. Okay, let's talk about public speaking. It's scary. You can get really nervous. You can um, just, you can forget everything that you're about to say. That's what my thing is. Like I have to memorize something before I speak it to a huge audience whenever I have to do public speaking and it's really hard for me to do that but the more you do it you get better. But um, today I wanted to talk about Peter in the book of Acts when he had to speak in front of the council or the judges or like the law of the time. Um, and he was really scared. He did not know what to say. But let's see what happened. So Peter and um, some of the other disciples were in the square and they were just talking to um, just the people around them about Jesus and how he resurrected from the dead and the law did not like this at all. The high priest or whatever did not believe in the resurrection. So they decided to put Peter in jail. And then um, after they were put in jail, they had to go in front of the court and speak on what's happening. So they go into the court, I guess, if it was the nowadays, and um, pretty much the high priestess, priests asked, by what power or in whose name have you done this? So like, why are you doing this? Like, who are you doing this for? And then um, Peter had no idea what to say, but then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit. So at this point, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. It was not his words, but God. So God filled him with words in this moment when he had no idea what to say. Like so after Peter talked to them, filled with the Holy Spirit, the members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. For they could not see that they were ordinary men with no special training in the spirits. For they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in the scriptures. They also recognized them as men who had been with Jesus. So I think about this with public speaking. For instance, um, I have started to pray when I'm nervous about it. Fill me with the words. Help me to um, speak through me in this time where I'm like really nervous, I can barely do this. Like, just help me through this, be here with me. And that's exactly what he did with Peter. He was there with him, he filled Peter up. Um, he was present there with Peter so that um, Peter's words were not his own. That's what I hope for these videos that God can speak through me and really teach you guys and share um, the scripture with you guys because I'm learning just like you guys so I do need God to um, speak through me to help deliver these messages to you you know and there is a verse in Psalms and the verse Psalms 16 8 through 11 says I know the Lord is always with me I will not be shaken for he is right beside me he is right beside you when you are giving that speech in English class and you are absolutely terrified to do so um, he is with you even when you aren't giving a speech um, this verse is just so soothing like all the times you were so afraid to go somewhere by yourself or do something by yourself you aren't by yourself because I mean God's with you he's your he's your homeboy <laughs> 
um, he's there with you through it all. So I think um, if you're ever nervous to talk to someone, if you're ever nervous to communicate or just um, publicly speak, you can ask God to just fill you with those words and um, know that he's there with you so you're not standing up there alone. That's a really cool picture um, to think of when you're about to deliver a public speech that God is standing next to you, you aren't up there by yourself. And that's what I always pray. I'm like, God, give me the words to speak to everyone tonight and help me to um, just deliver what you think should be said. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's, easy, it's easier said than done. <laughs> but I think the more you do it too, like you talk on a normal basis and you still, I talk on a normal basis and I still can't get my words right. So I mean, we can all suffer together and not being able to talk to people. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any speeches coming up, if you're just nervous to just talk to people, just know that God's with you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, devotional and I will try to have a vlog up for it, but I don't know, I've been bad about that so far. But um, I love you all, thank you so much for all your support and as always, I will see all your beautiful faces on Wednesday. Bye.